Mike Bratzman here with Goat Ministries, uh, here down in the Oya Bartola, finally known as The Hole. Uh, about 600 families living in really abject poverty. Um, we, we're bringing teams down to see where, you know, folks were living and the difficult times they were having. And um, we said, you know, we didn't want to come see their poverty. We wanted to come and help and do something and make a lasting commitment to be here. So we wanted to find a national, and that's how we serve, is all through nationals and short-term teams. So we bring teams down to bring energy and impact and work and, and funds to do stuff with, but it's nationals. It's a guy like Felix and his wife who really make a difference. So here we've built a nutrition center, a church, and we hope to add a school and some sports facilities soon. Um, this is Edward Gabriel. He's the president here in the Caribe and oversees all of our work. Sí, estamos, estamos contentos porque el Señor nos ha ayudado bastante aquí. Estamos contentos con ellos. I just want to say how happy and pleased we are because God's really blessed us and He's blessed us through people like you. Tenemos un promedio de nueve años en esta comunidad. We have the privilege of being here for nine years in this community. Pero la mano de Dios ha estado aquí con nosotros. But the hand of God has been here with us. Y en verdad se ha visto la diferencia nueve años en el pasado y nueve años ahora. And we can really see the difference that we've made here in nine years. So most people, when they come down to the hall, they see the shacks and the shanties and the tin roofs, and, and uh, they're, they're pretty overwhelmed by it all. But then they walk in the building, they see downstairs, and they think, man, tile floors, and they see the strength of the columns and the, the viga, and they, you know, it's, it's pretty odd. But then they come upstairs, and it, it's hard to imagine a, a church this nice. But what we want to do is make a presence here and we want people to know that they were special. You may be poor, you may be in a difficult circumstance, you may live in a, a shanty town. But you know what? God is here and he is awesome and this is nothing compared to what heaven's going to be like. Yeah. So our guys do all this work themselves. Um, many teens, people ask about short-term teens. Is it really effective? Why bring them? I don't know. Is it effective? Why bring them? Why do we ask for a, a minimum of $5,000 for a project fee? Because it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars to build facilities like this that will serve 120 to 140 kids a day. So this is kind of the model of all the churches we're building, smaller and bigger, is to go into a community, partner with a pastor and the community, build a, a nutrition center, and find out what kids are really needing that support and that help in the area, and then to build a church on top of it. So we partner with the pastor, we partner with the church, and then we partner with the community. If you were to tear all this down and move everyone out, the next group of people would move in and start building shanties. Yeah. So instead, we just kind of embrace it and say, this is your life, this is where you are, and so we're here to serve you. How can we serve? 